All right, so welcome to part 19 of Learn Go. And in this video, we're going to be going over methods. So Go supports methods that are defined on struct types. So we'll be defining a struct of type rectangle in this video, and then we'll be defining a number of methods that will operate on rectangles. So let's go ahead and start to do that. So we'll define our struct. We'll call it RACT for rectangle. It's a struct, so we'll use that keyword struct. And then every rectangle has common to it, let's say two attributes, we'll say width and height, and both of those are going to be of type int. So we're going to define some methods now that operate on rectangles. So the way we do that is we use the func keyword, and then we open close parentheses, and within these parentheses is the thing that we want the method to operate on, which in this case is a rectangle, and we'll refer to that rectangle within the, within the method as r. So we'll give this method a name, we'll call it area, this will be responsible for computing the area of a given rectangle, and it will return a type int. So the rectangle area, all we need to do is return r.width times r.height. So all I'm doing is I'm using this r that was passed in through via this method, and then I'm accessing the attribute width using the dot operator of this particular rectangle and the height, and I'm just returning the width times the height. So let's go ahead and call this method in main. So before we do that, we need to define a rectangle. So we'll say r colon equals, and then we'll say rect for rectangle. We'll say this particular rectangle has a width of, let's say 10 and a height of five. So let's go ahead and call our method on this rectangle that we've just defined. We'll say format.println, and then we'll just print out area colon, and then we'll actually call the method. So we'll say r dot area, and then we'll save this. So let's go ahead and clear the terminal. Let's say go run 19 underscore methods dot go. And if we do that, we call our method area, and it goes ahead and computes the area for the rectangle that we defined. So 10 times five, the width times the height gives us 50. So we can also define, this was a method that used a value type receiver. We can also define a method with a pointer receiver as well. So we can say func r pointer, let's say a pointer to the struct rect, and then in this way we'll compute another method which we'll call perim, and this will compute the perimeter of a given rectangle. So this will also return an int, and in this way what we'll do, we'll just return 2 times r dot width times 2 times r dot height. Let's see, so times 2 times r dot height. There we go. So I believe that's the right formula. So that will calculate the perimeter. And the key difference here is in this method is we're passing in a pointer as opposed to just a value type receiver. So let's go ahead and try to run that. So first we'll need to define a pointer. So we'll say r underscore ptr, which will be equal to the reference of r. So we've defined our pointer. And let's go ahead and say format.println. And we'll say perim. And then we'll say r.perimeter or r.perim. So we go ahead, save that, and run it. Let's see, we are, we should be saying uh, rptr.perim, since we're doing that for the PTR. And then go ahead and run this method. And then if we do that, we calculate the perimeter for the rectangle, and that gives us a perimeter of 200. So again, what we did is we defined a rectangle here of r, we defined a pointer to that rectangle there, and then we called this method, which takes a pointer as input. So that's pretty much it for this video on methods. If you have any questions or comments or anything of the sort, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section below. The code will be available on my GitHub and the link will be provided in the description. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.